Part-time MP Nadine Doris was very, very, very upset when the peerage that Boris Johnson promised her never materialised. But rather than blaming Johnson, a known liar, Doris seems to have gone on the rampage. Simon Case, the cabinet secretary and the country's most senior civil servant, recently appeared before the Public Administration and Constitutional Affairs Committee. That's when the committee's chair, William Ragg, asked him this. Are you uh, aware of um, any rather forceful communications that might be described um, uh, sent by the um, lingering member for Mid-Bedfordshire um, to both uh, to, to senior civil servants? Really, I suppose threatening it could be described to use the platform of the Commons and indeed her own television programme to get to the bottom of why she hadn't been given a peerage. So, uh, yes, was aware of those communications and have flagged them to both the Chief Whip and the Speaker of the House. Now, do you think that, have you maybe taken legal advice on whether you think the Honours Brackets Prevention and Abuses Act 1925 could come into play? Um, uh, seeking further advice on that question. So, take an initial advice, but ask for more. So that law that RAG referred to, it's supposed to prevent people from getting an honour through illicit means. Very intriguing. Um, the Times has more on the story reporting this. The Times has been told that Dory sent a WhatsApp message to Simon Case, the Cabinet Secretary, asking directly if she could be included on Truss's future list of peers after being blocked from receiving a peerage in Boris Johnson's resignation honours list. Now that is a little bit desperate. Um, a friend of Dory said this to the Times. It is complete nonsense. She was probably upset on the day at the way she had been treated, but she's not aggressive. She has been very badly served. So she said it's complete nonsense, but she probably did send the message. I mean, that seemed to be the message there, doesn't it? Doris hasn't just been spending her time allegedly trying to squeeze onto the next honours list. She's also written a book. It's called The Plot, The Political Assassination of Boris Johnson. The book will come out on the day before Rishi Sunak's first Tory party conference as Prime Minister. God, she is entertaining. This is how she describes it. I began to write about how one of our most electorally successful Prime Ministers had been taken down. What I discovered was a fault line in the Tory party stretching back decades involving the most Machiavellian political dark arts. Pre-order here. Here's how Labour's Fangham Devonair listed her many accomplishments in Parliament. I hope the leader had an enjoyable evening yesterday at the Prime Minister's so-called unifying hog roast in Downing Street. I do wonder if she managed to catch up with a member for Mid Bedfordshire. You wouldn't think it if you've been looking out for her in Parliament, but I understand she's been pretty busy. She's failed to turn up here for over a year, but she's had time to present her own TV show, write her own Daily Mail column, and I gather even pen a book. A lot to fit in between strops over being denied a peerage. How do you rate Nadine Doris's chances of getting to the truth of the political reality in Britain? She might have a, a bestseller on her hands, but I don't know how uh, how far she's going to go in terms of revealing any great any great truths to us. I, I don't. It just feels surreal. Like I just wish real life didn't like feel feel like satire in this way it's just so Im- embarrassing as well like yeah <laughs> did these people have no shame i think it's embarrassing but i also kind of rate it now i don't know what this says about me <laughs> but but the idea that you're sort of you're going to get a peerage oh, and then you get then you get blocked from getting it and then you say no i am getting this goddamn peerage right so then you're 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 messaging the most senior civil servant in the country saying can i get on the next prime minister's peerage list and then you're like well look, I'm clearly not going to get this peerage, so I am going to make life really goddamn difficult for the current prime minister who happens to be the leader of the party I'm in. She's saying she is going to resign um, to, to prompt a by-election, but she's not saying when. She's just like, I will be resigning at some point and there will be a by-election at some point, but I'm going to do it on my terms, thank you very much. And now she's releasing a book on the eve of Rishi Sunak's big conference speech um, where I, I presume she's going to release a lot of secrets about Rishi Sunak that are going to make headlines for a week. Obviously, we have different politics, but I kind of, I kind of see myself in her. You know, <laughs> I just think it's, it's, it's very cringe. It's very cringe. I understand, like the kind of drama and why it would be, uh, why it's like appealing to you. But this sounds more like kind of like high school politics dynamics rather than the kind of like highest echelons of power of a nation state. Like it's, it's, it just doesn't feel, it's just surreal and embarrassing. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't think she should be prime minister. I wouldn't be voting for her in her constituency, but hashtag be more Nadine, I think. Not really. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I think on this question. I'm, I'm genuinely having a little bit of an identity crisis live on YouTube right now. 